69 to see round the city. Posters bearing the hashtag Strong and CR Women. Well, that's all part of Manchester City Council celebration for this year's day. They snapped the lives of six of Manchester's most successful, determined and inspirational women. And one of the poster girls for the campaign is with me now. Vicky Howard is a blind former riding champion who's now hoping to join Paralympics GB's judo team in 2020. Vicky, thank you so much for coming in today and for bringing your guide back Aldi Aldi with us as well. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be one of the poster women for International Women's Day in Manchester? Uh, it's, it's awesome. Um, just to have the, the privilege of being asked to do it um, is also a big a big ask. Um, I'm a big Manchester Manchester woman, you know, lived here all my life. Um, a lot of stuff that I've done within my life has been Manchester based. Always had huge support from the community. Um, and it, you know it's great to see myself on posters as well. It's a bit weird, but uh, you know what? What an opportunity! I mean, your story in itself—you've done so much with your life that anybody who hears your story must just think, "What an incredible person you are!" Like, do you do you think of yourself as an incredible Manchester woman? No, um, I mean obviously I see myself as strong. I know that I'm a strong individual. I know that I'm I'm a, I'm a strong-minded woman. Um, and, and I get the, the word inspirational a lot as well and I don't see myself as inspirational um, I just see myself as somebody who's had a lot of obstacles in my life which yeah I've had to overcome um, but I've had a lot of support to do that um, so I, I know that I'm a strong Manchester woman <laughs> So that definitely fits the title of yeah. the hashtag then <laughs> yeah. What is the, the biggest like, achievement of your life so far I guess? Um, oh God there's been so many um, I mean, obviously, I'm a national title holder for RDA, um, which is, you know, that's that's massive to know that I'm. Riding yeah, the Riding for the Disabled Association um, to uh, hold a national title for that is is massive. But I mean, what what achievements do you pick? There's so many. Um, I've represented Great Britain in quite a few sports. Um, obviously, a massive um, impact has been cheerleading. So some of the stuff that I've just done with cheerleading. Um, and, and the impact that we've had on some of the kids that we've that we've taught, um, I think definitely my national titles with with the RDA, um, also the stuff that I've been doing lately. So a lot of Team GB involvement with judo and working with them, that's been a, a, a huge achievement. Um, and the stuff that we're doing with Safe Spots at the moment, um, with domestic violence and just raising awareness and the profile of domestic violence, uh, you know. To be an ambassador for Safe Spot is that that's a massive achievement for me. You're able to sort of talk quite openly about the fact that you are a survivor of domestic violence. What do you think that gives to people who maybe are suffering in violence to know that somebody like you is able to talk about it so openly? I think it's a it's a voice. People, uh, a lot of people don't realise the depths of domestic violence, and um, people think that it's just a few slaps, and it absolutely isn't that. It's emotional abuse you know, as well as the, as the physical abuse and, um, you know, I was in a situation where uh, people say, oh, I'd just walk away um, and I'd just left him. It's not as easy as that and sometimes you can be in a situation as I was, I didn't have that option and, and you're so scared that you think, it, you know, we was always in flats that had stairs and you think if I'm going down the stairs and he comes through that door, um, you know, I'm dead and I've got a baby there. Um, so I think for me it's about being a voice for people and obviously showing people that when you think that there is no other way that you can get out of that, there, there is a way that you can leave that situation and although it does take a lot of bottle and a lot of guts to do it, you know, there is, there, there, there is a, a path and there is support to, to help you out of that situation. And working with Women's Your Safe Spot, which is obviously a new initiative but one that's making yeah. a lot of impact, how has that yeah. been for you getting involved with that? Um, it's been great, um, obviously it brings up a lot of stuff that I've kind of left behind in my past um, but you know that if that's a good thing, that's kind of made me the person that I am today. It's made me a strong person obviously going through that. Um, I've now got legal experience because it forced me to go to law school. Um, so that situation has given me so many opportunities and where it wasn't a pleasant experience, you know, everything, we can use every opportunity that, that happens to us and we can turn it into a positive. It doesn't always have to be a negative and for me to be able to be an ambassador for Safe Spots um, and tell people my story and kind of get the message out there and raise awareness of domestic violence, uh, it's, it's brilliant. I mean, that 
to overcome that in of itself is a huge achievement. But in the sporting world, I mean, I know that you basically switched your entire sporting discipline from hoping to go to Rio yeah. as a rider to now potentially, hopefully, going to the next Paralympics as a judo athlete. How did you make that switch? Um, I basically went on the on the Get Inspired. Um, we went in the Get Inspired website, um, and then I was actually sat in the office just chatting with my co-workers. Um, about which which sport I'd I'd kind of be good at, and it was just a joke that someone said, you know, well you're a bit you're a bit rough and ready, so like, I'll give, <laughs> let's give judo a try, um, and it all happened really quickly. I went to a judo session. I was then put in touch with the Northwest representative, and judo has been so positive. Dressage, there were so many hoops to jump through, and you was never getting a straight answer. And it's all about where you come from, and you know if you have the right amount of money, it's it's quite a, a high profile sport dressage and judo has been you know open doors we can't do enough to help me um, i'm currently working with team gb so I'm on, I'm on the radar they're telling me exactly what to do um, and then obviously I'm, I'm flying out to germany on thursday for my first ever judo competition which will be at an international like, i'm just in awe <laughs> to be honest so what next are you hopefully going to paralympics um, well, the, it's never it's never certain. So until before the Paralympic selection, um, you don't really know what's happening. So I'm on the radar with British Judo at the moment, and we're working together. So the goal is Tokyo. The goal well, is Tokyo. Fingers crossed for Tokyo. Yeah. 2020. We'll see you there. You're on the podium as well. <laughs> Mickey, thank you so much for coming in, and congratulations on being one of Manchester's inspirational women of 2017. Thanks for having us. Thank you.